I'm back with Yay. Trisha. Yay! We, let's see. We're Episode solving all the problems of the world pretty much. We are. If you, the world has problems, Trisha and I'll solve them. <laughs> so we're gonna do a large family mom chat. Obviously, you don't have to have a large family. If you're a mom, you'll find good, good answers here. Even if you're not a mom, you're gonna pick up good stuff. So yeah. we're gonna jump right in. So Trisha is a mom of 10. Three are adults, or four are adults now. Yeah, I guess four yes. are yes, four so adults. So she's got six or seven at home. Bio kids, adopted kids, grandkids, very bad grandkids grandma, grandma is at home. She's got a, a booming household. So you definitely have, you have 10 at home total family, right? You, uh, you your husband, grandma, yes, and seven kind kids. of do math, and seven kids. Yes. So <laughs> busy, booming household. I have a busy, booming household. So we're just gonna talk about how we do this. You can, how does it work? How, 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 how do you do this, Trisha? Yeah, well yeah. I think <laughs> when we just had three kids, when mm -hmm. we just had three Only kids. Only three. <laughs> um, one of, I was overwhelmed. I, I think I was right. more overwhelmed then yeah. than I am now because I was doing everything. Mm -hmm. So our kids were in multiple sports activities, mm -hmm. homeschool yeah. activities, running around. Mm -hmm. We get home at late, I had nothing planned for dinner, so I'm yeah. a stress, more tired, more out mama. And so really we had to look at like what is a priority in the season. Mm -hmm. And there was Bible studies I was part of that it just wasn't working for the season that yeah. we were in. That I'm like, we can't do that. Um, I was volunteering at church, helping mm -hmm. clean the church. Well, I love volunteering at church. It just wasn't the season. So we right. really started by looking at the schedule and cutting out things. And um, if my husband's like, if you are doing it because you feel guilty mm -hmm. or because you didn't want to say no to someone, that has to go. Right. And so yeah. all those no things, <laughs> all those things, because you know, someone asks you to do something and yeah. can you babysit my kid? I don't know. Just yeah. you, you want to help people. Sure. But all those things that cut, so we had space. Mm -hmm. And then John and I sat down and said, what do we want to focus on? And our kids mm -hmm. were probably seven, five, and four at the time. Yeah. So when when they leave home, so we're projecting forward, when they leave mm -hmm. home. And they are adults now. And they now, they're, now they're yes. 30, <laughs> they're 27 and 25. Yes. Um, so when they leave home, what do we want? to have a foundation. Mm -hmm. So we want, of course, a Bible foundation, so time in God's Word. Right. We want them to serve people. So mm -hmm. I know even in churches and stuff, we everyone's doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to figure out a way to serve together in church. Okay. Um, and we wanted time to read stories together. So My like favorite. bedtime stories, and we wanted dinner around the table. Yes. So because we went dinner around the table, we can't be gone every night for sports. Yes. So we, because we preaching set, to yes, yes. <laughs> because we set our priorities, mm -hmm. then we're like, well, we're only going to do one sport per child or activity per child mm -hmm. per year. Okay. So we were just doing taekwondo. We had to stop that because mm -hmm. we're doing basketball now. Okay. Like we're just doing one thing because we want that time around the table. We want mm -hmm. those relationships that are built. So and then so at church we served children's church and we still do oh, okay. so we all serve it's a we do a drama based we mm -hmm. act out skits from the bible we've done it since our kids are little now our son who's 30 is the children's church director and he leads oh, us and our okay. whole family's there yes wonderful putting on costumes and so it's yes. a way just to serve together okay because it's important so figuring out that just helps like i don't have to every time there's a ton of decision making because we already mm -hmm. made the decisions like these right. are our priorities okay. and I think that helps mm -hmm. um, and then for just systems in our lives we have chore charts mm -hmm. so our older girls they rotate through the kitchen the living room and their bathroom every day okay so what one of them has the kitchen one of them has the living room one has the bathroom it's just it just rotates Okay. And so they so know. Is it like a loop schedule? It is a loop schedule. Do they have to do anything on their part? That's where we fall off sometimes. If it, if it requires too much of me, right, or no. if it requires too much of them, yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, I made a chart that I laminated, and it's been on okay. the wall for three years, okay. and it has the kitchen. So kitchen is load the dishwasher, mm -hmm. wash the big dishes, put a, put the dishes away, sweep the floor, wipe the counters. It just has their okay. little list mm -hmm. and their name. So basically. All it is is like, if I see that the kitchen didn't get done and it's one o'clock, mm -hmm. I'll look in the list and see whose day it is okay. and then ask them. But there's nothing required of me okay. because I know it's the same schedule that so it's, it's always that. been. Okay. Yeah. And then the little kids have their certain things. So um, our nine year old is always setting the table. So her okay. chore is every night and it's been for years. Yes. She's the one that sets the table. Okay. Um, our other daughter sweeps the hall in the mm -hmm. dining room because that's the big heavy traffic area. Yes. Yeah. And then the little guy, his job is to pick up the yard and clean like the outside and do okay. that sort of thing. So every day they know what they have to do. And I think if we make it too complicated, 
-hmm. they will like like you said if it's requiring too much of me right. it doesn't get yes, done yes i had tried last fall i was doing these clipboards yeah and then it just got to be too much counting the check i think i shared them on here it was just becoming yeah yeah too much like i said we did yeah. it once laminated it's okay. on there it's the same thing I'm taking notes everyone yeah. <laughs> everyone yeah. knows what they have to do okay um and then all the kids over the age of 12 mm -hmm. do their own laundry okay which means if they are wearing dirty clothes it's up mm -hmm. to them like they need to know like i will say it might be a good idea to do your laundry right but i'm not gonna hound them every week this is your day or figuring out a day like they right. have to figure out a time okay to so do they have their like own a laundry basket in their room and they, they have their own they basket in their room stuff. and okay. if they want like when one daughter works a cracker barrel mm -hmm. so if she wants a clean uniform she has to make sure she has time to do that okay yeah yeah laundry help <laughs> laundry help yeah because yes. i mean they over 12 they should be able to they should do their yes. own and fold it and put it away and all the things yes yes definitely i mean there's no right or wrong way but just what we've ended up doing is all of it gets washed and folded and brought into the laundry room mm -hmm. and so for different things like if our boys want to play minecraft it's fine but they need to each fold a basket of laundry oh, nice. so we end up if we do that consistently, we'll stay on top of it. Yeah. So basically by the evening time, maybe there's four baskets. Maybe we've washed a lot of covers that day. And so the kids, everyone, and that way it's not too much on one person. Right. But everyone can do one basket. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good. So, and then we still have to go back and sometimes, you know, the wrong things could be put in the wrong places, but right. Yeah. And I'm, nice. I'm doing all the other laundry. So okay. me, John, the little kids, grandma, so yeah. it's still a lot. Yes. Um, but what I like to do is fold it right from the dryer. Oh, that's smart. So, yeah. and we have, um, in our laundry room, we have mm -hmm. baskets for each person mm -hmm. or it's like John and I have a basket. Yeah. The two little girls that share a room have like, so if they're sharing a room, it's in the same basket. Do you, so do just, you have a dedicated laundry room? I do have a dedicated I want to, I still want to hear about this. I do have a <laughs> yes. we, we went to hear, because I have a closet oh, yeah. in, in, the, in the half bath, so I'm like, one day I'm going to have a laundry room. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah. Content, tell me so it was wonderful. So it's a laundry room <laughs> yes. with Ikea, the Ikea oh. big buckets. And so, <laughs> yeah. if, I mean, if I were to build a house, I mm -hmm. would make all the drawers in just a, like, the laundry room yes. has everyone's clothes. Yes, yeah, like a clothes closet. Yeah, yeah. so they never yeah. have to take it up to the rooms, because mm -hmm. that's, that's the part, taking it and putting it away in their yeah. rooms is, they're supposed to do that right. and they find it like piled in the closet. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing. We're, that's another we're thing. We're still working on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but so when I'm folding it, mm -hmm. I just put it straight from the dryer the into the bins. Okay. Um, and then the girls, if they have to do their laundry, mm -hmm. the rule is they have to fold the clothes in the dryer, okay. put them in the bins, and then move it over because there, there's okay. always there's never time it's right no definitely, like, definitely. There's always stuff we've there. got four baskets in there now and we just say all day long shuffle mm -hmm. laundry someone yeah. usually it's the 10 year old right now yeah. we'll go back there and, and move it yeah and then it gets moved to the hall station and then it gets moved to the dining room yeah <laughs> yeah but so, so so if there's something in the dryer they fold it but then again if i'm going to go do laundry mm -hmm. and they're still sleeping and their stuff is in there i right. will fold it for them okay and yeah do it so i mean they're doing it for me and i'm doing it right. for them but it just I don't want them pulling it out and dumping it somewhere. Yes. Because that just, yeah. Yeah. Makes it hard. Oh, that makes I it love, hard. I love that dream of a laundry room. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Fantastic. So we talk a lot about food here. And Trisha feeds a whole lot of people all the time. Uh -huh. So how do you feed your people? I find these wonderful <laughs> sets of freezer meals that I've oh, done before. Trish, now Trisha has cooked. You cooked pack four. We did pack four. Okay. They did yes. it. Her and her girls. She had some great pictures over on Instagram. And we you did all, it. You have and we still have that. some of that in there. Oh, good. Yeah. See, so the other day, mom travels. I went to Colorado last week, and okay. so I pulled it out, had the freezer meal in uh -huh. there, felt like the best mom ever. There you go. It was Dinner's there. done, so and I'm going to We're going to do pack five next. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Pack five has, I mean, they, they all of them, I feel like they're my kids. I'm like, oh, pack five has lots of good stuff, <laughs> too. Some good stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we had fun okay. doing that. Yeah. Okay, okay. So before, I would do like a, like a double thing, and I know you do mm -hmm. this, too, yeah, where you're yeah. making something, you're doing a double, mm -hmm. and you stick in the freezer, but I'm like, okay, I have the manpower, I have these girls, let's do the Let's do 30 or 40. Let's do, yeah, we did <laughs> yeah. it. So that was super helpful. Yeah. Um, but on Sundays, when I didn't have stuff in the freezer, mm -hmm. I would just plan what I needed for the week. Right. And then my husband does the shopping, which I'm very thankful oh, for. That's nice. Yeah. So. And, okay, another miracle Trisha has in her life. You all know how amazed I am by this. She lives six minutes from Walmart. Uh, yeah. And do they have grocery pickup too? And they have grocery delivery. Oh! <laughs> grocery delivery. 
Okay, here's a funny thing before. So we were I'm doing, amazed. we were reading, uh, we were doing a five in a row book, and it has recipes that go, uh -huh. you know, five in a row. Yes, yes, yes. So it had recipes that went with the book, and so mm -hmm. I'm sitting there reading it. I'm like, we should do these recipes. I did uh -huh. the grocery delivery, and by the time lunchtime came, all the groceries showed up. And it's we were able amazing. to make the thing. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, my, my battery light's flashing. Okay, Trisha, Trisha was just telling me a funny story about when they did Instacart. So do you rotate back and forth? Because I don't know these services. Like sometimes we do Walmart delivery. Sometimes Insta, like use Instacart if you want something from Aldi. Or... So we have Kroger. We don't have, okay. we don't have an Aldi. Ah, okay. Yeah, so, you know, this is give and take. Right, There's right. Some stuff well, everything's have. an hour for me. Yeah, so I don't yeah. know if I have it or not. You probably so have Instacart, an hour our, my Instacart is Kroger. This okay. is what I do. So, I ordered from Instacart, mm -hmm. and my future daughter-in-law was mm -hmm. the one that got it. So mm -hmm. her name's Cat, okay. and so all of a sudden it says it says Caitlin. What's Caitlin mm -hmm. short for Cat? Our Cat's short for that. And it says Caitlin is ordering your groceries. So I text her. Uh -huh. I'm like, Hey, you're getting my groceries. She's like, I know. <laughs> so um, she was there about 30 minutes later that with our groceries, fun. and she's in there, and she's putting away. And she has a two-year-old, uh -huh. so he was running around the house because she was just coming to yeah. my house. And she's putting it away, and then she's up hanging out. So I'm like, yeah. this is the best Instacart this is the best delivery, delivery ever. That yeah. was great. Lots of fun. So you guys, so you plan by the week, and then you use freezer meals to fill in the gaps. Yes. Or like when life falls apart. Yes. Yes. And, and I, Life's falling apart. So if I have lasagna. freezer meals, yeah, it's uh -huh. just like nice to have there. And sometimes yeah. we'll do different things or switch stuff up. We'll just yeah. get stuff for I birthdays. Find that we, um, We'll end up using them like three to four nights a week mm -hmm. because yeah. they'll just be other things. I might want to cook a night or Travis does something or we go Or the out. kids will ask for something yes. different. Or, or I'm yeah. like, I'm not doing nothing, but there's figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Fend for yourself. Yeah. 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 Or leftover. So, like if there's a leftover night, yes. we usually do that too. Yeah. Do you find you guys have a lot of leftovers or are you... Because like I used to depend on leftovers mm -hmm. and now I can't. When they get bigger, yeah. Yeah. So it depends. Yeah. Like sometimes if I make spaghetti, I'll make mm. I'll make spaghetti. Oh, oh, and instead yes. of freezing or nation, doing right? that, I'll just make a big batch because yes. I know for lunches, especially since we homeschool, mm -hmm. they'll eat those for lunches. Sometimes yeah. they even get it for breakfast. Mm -hmm. You because know, they're there three meals a day. Yeah. They don't need food. Yes, exactly. And so yeah. Yeah, I've come out some mornings. It's like you're having macaroni. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there's sometimes I've made stuff and put it in there and mm -hmm. then they eat it that was supposed to be for dinner. Right. Like I can't that get, too. I need to like label it if I yeah. have stuff in I'll there. I'll have some things I'll put in there and I'll just write no. But it's hard <laughs> to remember to do that. Like certain cheeses and if uh -huh. I don't want Travis to get it, I'll, I'll just write no. <laughs> yeah. Please read this. I'm saying no. <laughs> yeah. And so, and then for breakfast, how do you handle breakfast? So breakfast? everyone does their own thing. So okay. and usually I'm making eggs. So if people mm -hmm. want eggs, I'll make whatever, okay. fried, scrambled. But often they're in the leftovers if mm -hmm. they really like whatever yeah. we had the they're night before. Up. They're eating that. Yeah. Some, some get cereal, some do toast. So you just so, have a sampling. Mm -hmm. okay. Now Sunday morning, mm -hmm. this is our thing that we figured out. Okay. We, because we have to be at church and serve at Children's Church by nine, we have mm -hmm. to leave our house at eight. Okay. Because we, we have to leave at 8, drive to church, and then set up for our children's yes. church program. So getting all those people out the door by 8 o'clock on a Sunday is hard. Yeah. So my husband does big breakfast. Okay. And so he'll do either waffles or French toast. He'll do um, eggs with croissants. And oh, so they yeah. always will ask Saturday night, what are you making for breakfast? So he just gets up. He, I don't know. Like it's, yeah, uh, we get up at 6. Okay. We, we get so ready. He's, doing mm -hmm. breakfast by seven probably. Yeah, and so place. he's been yeah. there and that's his thing. Okay. And then they always know, because I don't sit there and make uh, white chocolate chip and macadamia and pancakes. Oh, yes, That's yes. just something I don't right. do, but, but he will do that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. so they always ask on Saturday night. Uh -huh. So when I go to wake them up, I'll say, Dad has waffles and strawberries. Yeah, okay. Or he has yeah. chocolate chip pancakes. And so then they all get motivated Let's, again. Yeah, that's So fun. instead of me rumbling or griping, get right. out of bed. It's like, here's the motivating thing. We haven't talked about it much yet, but <laughs> Trisha's new book, The Grumble Free Year, look in the description. And she's got a free book for you too, based off of her 30 plus years of mama experience. So that will be the first link in the description. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And then so for lunches, it's leftovers and different things like that. Yeah. Or, yeah. And sometimes we'll do like, um, when I have Naomi now starting to do more salady type things, so she'll do a big thing of tuna salad or egg salad, and then we'll have that for a few days. Yeah, and when I don't have freezer peanut butter jellies. Yeah, <laughs> and one of the yeah. kids will say, "Hey, I'm making mac and cheese. I'm making mm -hmm. tuna fish sandwiches. Yes. I'm making 
egg sandwiches. I mean, whatever. One person will kind of make something and then everyone will... That's yeah, we'll, we'll be hungry and want it too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so another thing is you were telling me that you were going back to chores now. So mm -hmm. you follow us. We did we did chores, we did food, now we're gonna go back to chores yes. for a minute. Um, you pay for chores. Yes. So how does that work at your house? Okay, so they get a dollar per their age per week. Okay. For doing their chores. Because okay. the big girls are sixteen, so sixteen dollars a week, but they are doing they're doing like all the right. like their kitchen day, they're doing all the dishes. Mm -hmm. Or they're you know, uh, vacuuming and, and doing the living room or cleaning the bathroom. And so they follow the loop schedule. They're for they're that. the loop okay. schedule. So they're spending. I mean, with that many people to do the mm -hmm. kitchen, oh, it's yeah. a good hour. Okay, so yeah. yeah. So no, we no, feel no. like they need to get something yes. for that. So they do. So they get a dollar per um, their age per week, okay. and we use something called Rooster, and it's okay. an app. So we're not like actually, but we have the money. So if we're at the store and mm -hmm. they want something or they're saving for something special, okay. um, then they the money's in there and then they're not holding oh, it and fun. wanting to spend it. So okay. some of my kids are great savers. Like okay. they have a big thing they want to buy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, every time they go to the store, they want to spend their money. Right. Um, we do talk about, they do give to church mm -hmm. and we talk about that and giving yeah. to missionaries. So we take that, we show them how we're taking that out of, the app and then we're putting it in the offering plate. And so the app you have like everyone's name? It has everyone's name. Okay. It has it you're able to put in so when they get the money it's mm -hmm. automatic. Okay. Um we do do bonuses. So if they do something special, if they want to clean out the car or I was gonna say like things, deep scrub the van. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they want to do those things we yeah. will give them a bonus. Okay. Or um like sometimes my since my grandma lives with us, I need mm -hmm. someone to stay with grandma while right. I go do something. So we'll put bonuses in there and then okay. we put so the automatic thing is their age per week, and then we do bonuses. Okay. So if they that is, is added in there, and then we put a description so they know what it's for or okay. what they spent the money on. Because all of a sudden they'll say, "No, I had twenty dollars." We're like, "Well, you spent two dollars on a snow cone." Yes, this, yes. And then different. you're able to keep track of okay, that. Okay, no, that's and it's just that's the app on our phone, so that works really wow, good. That's great. I get hung up on having to track. Yes. Like the daily tracking is bog is bogging down, bogs me down. Right. So. Again, loop schedule, Jamer on loop schedule. The loop schedule really works, <laughs> yes. and then the, it's the automatic. Like it already goes in every week, so you don't have to count. Because that's too like we're gonna talk about all Jamer else problems. So then, when I go to like pay out, then I have to go through and count and tally. No, and, we don't do it. Okay. It's automatic. They do get bonuses if they do extra, mm -hmm. and there have been times when someone's not. They have a bad attitude. Yeah, they're happens. not doing their things. We will go in and deduct. Okay. Um, it doesn't happen because they they like they like money. Sure, they like I, yeah, it's a great deal. Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't happen, but there is times when one kid is just really having a struggle mm -hmm. and they're not following through, and right. we that's just a lesson that we're gonna take. Right. That you just if you don't do a good job at work, you may, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know I get confused in my math where I say I've homeschooled fourteen or fifteen years. That's nothing. Trisha's homeschooled 25 years. <laughs> and again, graduated kids, kids who have traveled the world, gone to college, they have been jobs, in ministry, degrees, have yeah, children, ministry. their parents. I mean, they, they're functioning in society, all homeschooled. It can work. So it all works. <laughs> so tell us how you homeschool, Trisha. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've tried every curriculum. Sure, there sure. Over the years. Yes, I think every, that's homeschool, your batch. every yeah. homeschool mom has. Yes. Um, and I think one of the things that helps, well, there's two things. You need to find something kids enjoy, of course, because mm -hmm. they're learning. But also, I think sometimes we miss out. We need to find stuff that we like. Because mm -hmm. I think if it's too hard for us, we're not going to do it. Right. Like if I buy this program that thinks it's amazing, but it requires too much setup or mm -hmm. planning, it just doesn't get done and it's not oh, worth no. it. Um, and so after all these years, mm -hmm. I mean, we've done computer base, we've done workbooks, we've done stuff. What I've landed on mm -hmm. is read out loud. Yes. So I'm using sunlight. I've used it for the last three years. Mm -hmm. and we read out loud yes. um, and they have different levels and they but they cover the same times in history so mm -hmm. their core is history yes um, and literature and then you add on this math and the science mm -hmm. and so like last year we did well two years ago we did ancient history and mm -hmm. I get the little kids set unit yes. for the three little kids and then the older kids and then I read books from both yes so I might wonderful. read some of the put them all together put them all together so <laughs> yes. the little kids are hearing books that they would they would not be able to read themselves the exactly. words would be too hard because yes. i'm reading it out loud they can follow along mm -hmm. um and so if we did ancient history then we did medieval history and so this year we're doing american history oh yeah so you know yes. we're reading pocahontas oh, and yes pedro's journal about columbus right. and all these books and the older kids they love 
that we're reading. These are mm -hmm. some of the younger readers that I'm reading out right. loud, but they love hearing it too. Yeah, and so we spent a couple hours doing our Bible time, doing our uh, missionary story time with the mm -hmm. YWAM books, um, reading out loud, and then they'll break up and do independent work. Right. So the little kids are more hands-on. The older kids, now that they're 16, 16, and almost 15, mm -hmm. I have a whiteboard, mm -hmm. and I put everything that they need to get done that week, and yep. it's all this page in math, this page in science, and mm -hmm. Sunday night, that's really, I reset my homeschool room, mm -hmm. all the books go in, back in place, yes, <laughs> like, yes. I look over ready all the for work, a fresh yeah, week. ready for yeah. a fresh week, everything gets organized and clean, mm -hmm. the whiteboard, I fill everything out, and then even if I have to go out of town, yes. or I have a doctor's appointment, and they know, you know, with the younger kids, they know they can go to the board mm -hmm. and see exactly what they have to so do. So you just like, your whole plan for the week goes on. Yeah, and yeah, so the problem, it's a, I'm also learning to take a picture because we've yes. had neighbor kids come over, <laughs> uh -huh. and I'm like, no. I like that with my my monthly calendar on the side of this refrigerator. Sometimes, especially in the winter, it'll look like a sleeve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I just did the new month, and I took a picture. Yes. Yeah. Because sometimes so I'm like, like, oh, no, all that work. <laughs> and then I also put my YouTube videos when I think they're publishing, so I can look for the whole month on what should be publishing every day. And That's yeah, really good. Yeah. So, Take Love pictures. the white board. I just let that Sunday night for me, you know, I, I rest. I mean, I don't want to do any mm -hmm. work. That's I get a nap every Sunday after church. Yeah. Yeah. That is my rest day. Mm -hmm. And then by that evening, my mind starts moving towards the next week. Yes. And so that's when I get up, clean get the, clean the school room, which is our dining room, mm -hmm. and then write it all out there. And then perfect. we're set up. So Monday morning, we're like, yay, look at the week. We yay, know what we're doing. We know. Yes. That really it's helps. Perfect. And so I know last year, my kids were heavy activities. We did those activities well. This year, we're still doing activities, but it's not quite as heavy. Right. So we have one in piano. We have basketball that's going to start before we know it. We have our homeschool group, and that's that seems like a pretty pretty let's realistic that's, yeah. realistic yeah. schedule for me. So how's it going for your kids this year, activity wise? Good. Happened? Well, like last year we did co-op and we did taekwondo all year long. Yes. Um, and so they got to, up to an orange belt. With them. I'm like, oh, wow. that's pretty cool. Yes, <laughs> like yes, they're, they were moving along. Mm -hmm. But they wanted to do basketball. They okay. haven't done a team sport because mm -hmm. we've done taekwondo and independent right. stuff. So they wanted to do a team sport. And so we have two in basketball okay. and then we have four girls in cheer. And cheer that's is so only fun. one day a week for mm -hmm. an hour and a half. Okay. Totally. Like, and do they cheer doable. like for the basketball they're gonna, teams? They're going to cheer perfect. for the basketball teams. Is this through teams. upwards? No, no. No, okay. No, it's just our homeschool organization that we have. Yeah. So that's where when people ask about homeschooling opportunities, I know even in our area we have a big homeschool sports league, and we haven't even done anything with it yet, but they've got basketball, volleyball, track, drama. So yeah. Should be, they've got so many there things. Is so, there are so many. Like every yeah. day of the week you could be doing you something. You could, and I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think last year I was doing three different homeschool groups. You know, I just oh, I get yeah. in times... The other two were more, I did optional field trips, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's just so much. You could be gone all day, every day, and homeschool out and about. You could. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, lots of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so the, the nine-year-old hits basketball is a couple times a week okay. for an hour at a time. Our 12-year-old is a couple times a week for two hours at a time, okay. and I will go and sit there at the practice mm -hmm. and work on my computer, and yeah. they love when I watch. So then, you know, I make sure I, when they're right. working on something I'm watching to you, then work on my computer. So I do get to squeeze in a little right. writing time. Just in the a middle little. Of that. Yeah. 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 Um, but also on Wednesday, we do our community Bible study. Okay. So we're, we go there and I, I miss like being with other just women. Yes. Because you just, I mean, not just there with your kids all day, but right. you are with your kids all yes. day. And it gets, you know, I just want some adult See, conversation. Trisha wanted to drive herself to my house. And I said, oh, no, no, I'll come get you. <laughs> yeah. So we get a free time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Although we love it, we dedicate our lives we to it, not it. complaining. Yeah. It's still nice. Yeah. And yes. So our community Bible study is non-denominational, and it's women of all ages. Oh, that's so there's like a young mom with a mm -hmm. new baby, her first baby, and there's a 90-year-old sweet grandma oh, in there yes. that is just the best, and everything in between. And your grandma? Um, my is grandma. She? No, she doesn't. She okay. doesn't go with me. Up. She's okay. like, I don't want to get up. So yes, she, yes. She grandma loved, grandma she loves wants. to sleep in. Okay, yeah. good. Good job, but, Grandma. You yeah, got your priorities She loves straight. to sleep in. <laughs> but I'm there with other women doing mm -hmm. Bible study and they have homeschool classes. So that's, that's just perfect. another, it's not a co-op, but they are doing Bible if study. If I moved to Arkansas. Yeah. Hey, I'll take you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Y'all yeah, know what. Trisha talked me into yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's fun. So, and then another thing we have is our, um, 
our agriculture department in mm -hmm. Arkansas, through the 4-H department, they have extension programs. And so in the winter, they have science classes. Oh, fun. So it's like every Friday, all day, and mm -hmm. it's like they're doing all the science activities and oh, going to get the tadpoles, because, you know, it doesn't freeze in Arkansas. Okay, so, so you get <laughs> tadpoles in January. Yeah. That's something, it just made me think, too. Something else we were going to try to add in this year, but it's only twice a month, mm -hmm. so I like those easy yeah. commitments. It's like every other Friday, it's a homeschool PE time. Oh, yeah. And so that'll be, um, I'm trying to think, I think it's at... A church that has a gym and other families in my homeschool group do it so I thought yeah. this year okay we can do homeschool PE we can add that in yeah it'll be fun it is although fun. every day is homeschool PE yeah but <laughs> yeah exactly my kids are yeah. out there running around yeah and we have a zip Run line in our backyard Yes. So we live in a subdivision, but we have a pretty big backyard and we have a zip line. You so set up. that's the homeschool break. Go out and do the zip line. Also, do you have a trampoline? No. Okay, that's always been our thing. It's like if the trampoline breaks, we need to order another one and have it here tomorrow. We yeah. need a trampoline. Well, we had a daughter break an elbow on a trampoline, uh, so my husband's like, we're, yes, we're down with trampoline. trampolines. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely, if you have that. Um, I would be like, no trampolines ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there is so much fun to do in the community. I think it is mm -hmm. just picking and choosing because you can do right, a everything. ton of stuff. But yeah, we want to make sure we have that time with our kids and getting their schoolwork done. Right. And, yeah, yeah, that's what I've, I've been thinking because we did Taekwondo for a year. And then this summer when life was getting heavy and we we're having all those lake days and I couldn't always get from the lake way over there to Taekwondo. So we took a few weeks off mm -hmm. and now it's become a few months off. Yeah. And I think, I just think we're not, I think, I think we're tapping out. And sometimes you just <laughs> so, need like time to play and time yeah, to- Yeah, that's what I feel like yeah. when we can just have, we could just have some evenings at home. Mm -hmm. So I've cycled back to that. And we like <laughs> to do family walks around the neighborhood. Yes. So yeah. we'll take the dogs mm -hmm. and we'll walk around the neighborhood and say hi to the neighbors and um, we do family bike rides usually on Saturday oh, mornings. Yes. Um, we do, there's bike, trail, bike trails about 10 miles from us. It's okay. like a 25 mile bike trail. Oh, we don't do 25 miles. Right, right. But we did do 14. Yes. The other day. Like do you all did, ride to it, or do you pack them up in your van? We pack them up in my husband's truck. Oh, so okay. I have the van with the kids, and he has the truck. She has with a the Nissan bikes. Envy, by the way. Yes. Talk about large because people yes. ask, you know, I Nissan have a Envy. Sprinter. She has an Envy. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. the bikes go in the truck. The kids go in the van. Okay. We drive over there. We unload everything. That's perfect. Um, but it's a really nice bike trail, mm -hmm. and all the kids. And so the youngest is nine. So mm -hmm. we did 14 miles, 14.2 miles. And they were all able to do the whole way. You know, the last mile, we're like, <laughs> John, <laughs> the first, the first thirteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were good, but the yeah. last one. Yeah, and I'm usually yeah. there's the fourteen and twelve year old usually like way ahead. They just go yeah, for it. For it and then I'm usually laying, lagging in the back with some of the younger kids. Mm -hmm. Well, last time I'm like, I'm gonna keep up with the twelve and the fourteen year old. So I was booking it. I was booking, we went over this one corner. I ended up in the bushes. Oh my. I, I'm like, Watch this is what I get for trying to keep up with the 12 year old. I was in the bushes, but um, yeah, so that, they were all laughing at mom. That's in the funny. But it was fun. So then last but not least, I know I have gotten a lot of questions about this lately because one of my babies is now an adult out there in the world. Yay! It's like we've, He's out. He's, He's out. doing it. We're doing it. We've only done one so far. You've done three and a half. Yeah. Three yeah. And a half. She three has and one half. in college now. That's living at home. That lives at home. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna hear from Trisha about launching kids. I might have a few thoughts, but I've only done it once so far. So <laughs> <laughs> ask me after a few more. It's. I will say, most likely, it's not a carbon copy for every oh, child no. yeah it's an end of and that's why i hesitate on saying anything so i guess i am saying something uh it's going to be individual based on yeah, each child absolutely. and god's plan mm -hmm. for them and god's vision for them and what you see that kiddo needs yeah absolutely now i'll be quiet yeah no we're good you, you <laughs> so, can say as much as you want so, keep, <laughs> so you, you've launched three and a half yeah so we started with Corey, mm -hmm. and when he was in his junior year, I just signed him up for one class at the community college. Okay. Um, and he was so nervous. He was sitting in the car. He's like, don't make me go in. Oh, yeah. And I think sometimes, especially when they're homeschooled, they don't know, like, what even the classroom and how it's run and right, how things right. work. And I wanted him to get that experience. Mm -hmm. and, and so, so he was 16. He was, uh, I think he was 17 okay. at the time, yeah. So he signed up for one class, and he realized, like, he came home and was like, Mom, 
they tell you what you need to read, they tell you what you need to learn, uh -huh. they tell you what's going to be on the test, and then you take the test. Right. He's yeah. like, this is great. Yeah. And so he did great. And then we just did more and more classes mm -hmm. with him. And so he got his, um, so he has his AA degree, mm -hmm. and then he has a job in insurance, and that's all he needed. Yeah. So if he right. wants to go back, he's talking about maybe going back to school later, mm -hmm. but he's working in insurance now. He works from home. Okay. He loves it. He has two kids. Yeah. Um, wonderful. So, yeah. So he's... So that so you prepped him. He started community college. Just one with one class. With one class. Yeah. And then did he have his associates by the time he graduated homeschool, or was it like another year? It was after? like one year after. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's one year after nice. with him, he did logger sports. We lived in Montana at the time. Oh. So he she got said logger, logger sports, sports. By the way. <laughs> yes. Wow. Which is super fun. So he had a scholarship. Uh -huh. So even his college was paid for. Oh, wonderful. Um, so. The funny thing is he signed up, his friend signed up, so they're doing this thing. Mm -hmm. I know they're training, they've been traveling, doing these competitions. Mm -hmm. There's finally one in our community that I could go to. And my son is running up a tree with a chainsaw. And I'm like, oh my <laughs> word, what, <have> we <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. So that's when you live in Montana. When you live, that's the Montana there we life go. for you. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. So, so you launched Corey, and then um, mm -hmm. what were your experiences with your other kids? Okay, so Leslie, she was, she's always been precocious. Oh, I know one. Before we get to Leslie, Leslie, you're going to get your own part here. Um, for Corey, at what point did he move out on his own? Yeah. Was that right when he graduated, or was it a year later, or um, so he's, two years later? Yeah, so he stayed uh, probably a year and a half of community college. He okay. stayed in our house. Okay. And then John and I moved from Montana to Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So he stayed the last semester to finish up okay. um, his degree, and then he ended up living with Grandma and Grandpa. Mm -hmm. And then he ended up getting married, and okay. so then he, they, he moved out. Okay, so gotcha. Was, so that was that transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And we were moved, the hardest thing ever, moving to Arkansas and leaving a child behind. Right. Now he lives 10 minutes from us, so. You know, God has yeah. redeemed that time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then Leslie can it's her own. Leslie was precocious. She was precocious. Okay. So she was always, Corey's three years older. Mm -hmm. She always wanted to do what homeschool work he was doing. Okay. So she didn't want to do her level. She always wanted to do mm -hmm. his level. Mm -hmm. um, and so by the time she was 16, we'd gone through all the subjects, She's all done. the homework. Yeah. Uh, math, we, you know, we she, had, she had to do some more math <laughs> yes. classes. But so she started full time community college when she was 16. Okay. Um, and so by the time she graduated from homeschool mm -hmm. at 18, she had her associate's degree. Okay. Um, and so she. And no one, uh, questions coming, I feel them already through the internet. <laughs> no one looked at you like you had two heads when you took a, two, a homeschooler to get them in college or. No, well, the, the cool thing is at our community college, um, we didn't even have to do the ACT. She just had to okay. do. She had to do, I think it's the compass test or something that mm -hmm. would get them see where her placement was. Yes. And so her English and writing were like, like she could way, teach the really class. good. Yeah. yeah. She did really good, and so that was easy. Her math, she had to take like a, a math before the mm -hmm. like one that was actually counts for your degree. Right. Right. Sorry, Leslie, I'm not a math person. <laughs> That's okay. Mom is a novelist. I'm a novelist. <laughs> yes, yeah. but she overcame that. You didn't harm her. Right. Yes. She did fine. She did fine. Yeah. So, um, but we just went in and signed her up, and it, because she was in high school, mm -hmm. it was half price. Wonderful. So okay. it's the dual credit thing. So, awesome. And then because she got good grades her first semester, her first year, her second year was free there. Even better. So that yeah. was great. So, and then at what point did she jump out? Okay, so she got her um, associate's degree, and that was when um, John and I were moving. Okay. So she was she was still working, at, oh, she had just finished that. So both. Her and Corey graduated right around the same time. Okay. Um, from junior college, and she wanted to work. She thought, "I'm, I want my own place. I want to work." She mm -hmm. ended up living with our youth pastor and his wife when okay. we moved. And she had a job. Um, she did um, Bank of America like um, answer call center. Yes. And then she realized after four months, uh, being an adult isn't as much fun. Right. Right. And so, call center work it was a yes. And so she's like, okay, I will move to Arkansas and go to a larger college. Okay. okay. So then that was a good experience. It was though, a good experience. You know I that. think so many times. Yeah. Um, just the thought when you're that age of all these more years of college when, hey, mm -hmm. I could get a job now and make money. Right. Um, then they realize, like, this isn't fun and <laughs> maybe I want a different maybe type of I job. Maybe I want to do something else. Maybe yes. I want to do something else. But so, she, she knew she had your support, so then yes. she came and did two more years. Yep, so she came and she got her bachelor's degree at the University mm -hmm. of Arkansas. 
Um, they're in Little Rock. Okay. And um, her degree is in writing and editing and linguistics. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yes. so she loved that. But the cool thing is, um, during their high school years, we ended up going on mission trips to the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. I went there on research for a book and just mm -hmm. fell in love with it. And God, I just felt God stirring our hearts to go on mission trips. So we went on mm -hmm. mission trips there. We also had an exchange unit from the Czech Republic in our house for a year. So our heart was like yes. super connected. So she'd already been on three mission trips at this time. And, she's, mm -hmm. and after she got, or the, the summer before she got her bachelor's degree, um, she said, I want to go there for the summer. So she did. Mm -hmm. She went and worked with pastors that we knew that were Czech and missionaries and just loved it. Yes. Then when she graduated, she's like, I feel like I need to go full time mm -hmm. into missions. And we're like, okay, you're 20 years old. Right, right. You have your bachelor's. Yeah. And she wasn't with an organization. She just felt God wanted her to go. Okay. And so we're like, okay. She says, I, I, she says I'm going to raise the money. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, we'll do spaghetti fundraisers. We'll send out letters. I want spaghetti now. I think we're going to have to go get spaghetti. We can talk. We can yeah. talk about spaghetti. Yes. And this is a cool thing. So. Mm -hmm. Um, she said, I feel like God is asking me um, not to do fundraising, that he's going to provide okay. a way. And I'm like, okay, all these missionary stories, all these things that we've been reading, you know, George right. Mueller. Her faith is built. <laughs> her faith is built. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So mm -hmm. all during her last year of college, her plan, she's talking with the pastors, figures out she needed about $12,000 a year mm -hmm. to live on over there. Yeah. She's making a plan. And she's getting some money, but she's not asking. Like she's right. was like... She's not supposed to ask. Okay. Um, people from her work hear about it and they give her money and people from our church. Mm -hmm. Well, it comes to the point where like three months before she's supposed to go, she still needs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're like, okay, like I don't, we don't have this money. And she right. ended up to be able to get her visa to work there. She needed to be able to show them her bank account that she had money to live on. Mm -hmm. Cause they don't want just people coming to their country that don't have money. Oh, but yeah. And yeah. she didn't have as much money in the bank as they wanted to see. Mm -hmm. So. I'm like, I don't have the money to get right, it. Right. She didn't have it. So she says, we're just going to pray about it. So uh -huh. she gathered with um, her sister-in-law and they just started praying about it. Mm -hmm. And um, she went later that day to her PayPal account. Now she had a blog mm -hmm. that had a PayPal button yes. and she would talk about her wanting to go. She never asked for money, but someone had put $10,000 into her account. Wow. The day that she prayed <laughs> that she needed it. And the okay. story behind that is... When she was in high school, she worked at Wendy's, mm -hmm. and they had international students come, and she would always share the gospel. Well, one of those international students would come to her house and ask questions and talk mm -hmm. to my husband and want to know more. And when he went back to his home country, she gave him a Bible, and um, he took the Bible and became a Christian, and ended up seeing her blog, figuring that she needed some money, and ended up giving the money so wow. she can go. So the Lord used that. So the Lord used yes, that. Yes, that's wonderful. So, and so here she is 20 years old, mm -hmm. um, right before she turned 21, she moved to the Czech Republic. Wow, fully funded. Fully funded, <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's amazing. And she's been there ever since. Okay, so now and she's, now she's married there. Yeah. And, yeah. So she's 27, she taught university there, mm -hmm. she works with students, and um, her, she's got married to a wonderful guy mm -hmm. and they have a nine month old baby. baby. Yeah. Yes. So even though it's hard having a daughter like on the other side of the world, mm -hmm. like it's just knowing that she's following God's plan for yeah. her is like a huge thing. And we do video chat every day mm -hmm. and just seeing that um, she's just so happy and has yeah. an amazing husband. And it's, beautiful you know, girl. it's a beautiful, yes. it's a beautiful thing, even though she's far. And it's what I've been working with all the mama heart stuff whenever they launch. I've only done it once, as mm -hmm. I keep saying. So it's what I keep telling myself is it's hard as a mama, right? but this is what we've been training for. Exactly. Like this, this is God's plan. This is what we do. And when we were reading the missionary books, Gladys Alward, when she was nine years old, yeah. I wouldn't be a missionary. I right. mean, so, so that, that seed was planted, planted there. Right. So if we're giving them these examples, right, then exactly. We then if they go to the Czech Republic. Yeah, but the, <laughs> when she comes home, she'll come for three weeks. Mm -hmm. She came, after she had the baby, she came for five weeks. Oh, and so her husband was with her for half the time, mm -hmm. but you know, it's, so we do get chunks of time with her in the video calls. Yeah. And if she lived on the other side of the United States, I might not see her that often either. Right. So, yeah, yeah. No, that's wonderful. Yeah. And then you, you have another son that you yes. launched. So, um, Nathan is 25 okay. and he, um, he is in his junior year of college. Mm -hmm. Now he has been, well, where Leslie was always pushing ahead, mm -hmm. he has been my easygoing, 
let me just do what's required. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna really push things kind of child. So homeschooling him was easy. He's like, this is the work. He just gets it done. Mm -hmm. um, he started you get those sometimes. Yeah, so yes. there's some that are just like ready to go and there's right. some like I'll do the work but I'm not gonna really push. Yes. Um so when he's moved with us, mm -hmm. when we moved from Montana to Arkansas and we adopted a baby. Mm -hmm. So here we have a sixteen year old and a newborn baby right. that we adopted. <laughs> so this whole life transition. Um, and so it was really hard moving to a new place. Like we we he did some homeschool classes but he kinda mm -hmm. didn't have a huge homeschool group yes. that he got involved in. So that, I think that was a big challenge for him. But he started straight in the um, University of Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And he did okay in his classes, but he just really wasn't into them. Yeah. He was still trying to find friends and right. get connected when we were down there. So he finished um, a year and a half, and then he really wanted to stop and write a novel. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, so he got a job at Panera. I mean, his mom's a writer, know, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so he got a job at Panera and was doing that, and then he he wrote, he did, he wrote and published a novel. It's, a, it's available on Amazon. It's there a great go. science fiction novel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did a really great job. We hired, I, I mean, I went through it, then we hired an editor, so mm -hmm. he did a really good job. And then he started working on a video game. So he has okay. a video game that he did. Awesome. And so he's very creative. Yeah, and I think that, yeah. for a while, just not understanding like what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Being in college, he's just kind of going through the motions. Sure. So this gave him a chance to be creative with this book. Be and creative. And as a creative person, that's yeah. why so stifling. Yeah. And yeah. then be creative with the video game. Mm -hmm. um, but then he realized, like, I don't want to work at Panera. And then later he right. got a job at Walmart. Mm -hmm. You know, his whole life. So he's like, okay, I do want to go back to school, but now I know what I want to do. So he's doing computer experience. computer science because he loved doing the computer games. So he's mm -hmm. going to learn more and get his degree. And he's been yeah, having wonderful and, yeah. opportunities. He got um, a mentorship program from a big company. He got wonderful. chosen to be in part of. So mm -hmm. it's okay. I think so many times we think like it has to be college and they have to finish. But taking right. that time for them to grow and learn and figure things mm -hmm. out and be creative and try things, I think is really important. Like don't feel like just because they stop after a year and a half, that, oh right. no, the like, they're forever. never going to go back. Yeah. So now he's gone back. Well, and he's going for something he's interested yeah, in, not he's figured just it to out. the he's, piece of yeah, paper. He's figured yeah. out like where what he wants to do. So right. he's doing computer science to do probably more video games. Yes, and, well that's fine, he'll have the piece yeah. of paper. And in that field, I know certifications are a big deal. Yeah, they are a big so, deal. Yeah. yeah. And so excellent. now he's done two semesters since he's gone back, been on the Dean's List, loves yeah. it. Like he's Wonderful. just in a more mature place where he's really appreciated more. Yeah. Um, he has his own apartment mm -hmm. and, you know, Doing, um, he, he tutors. Man, thanks. He also tutors my girls. Okay. He comes over and helps them with math because remember? Yes. I found a big <laughs> That's math okay. Person. Yes. So he does math <laughs> and sometimes science with them. Uh -huh. So, That's yeah. Perfect. And so I think with each kid, um, I mean, they're all, they all do things differently. Yeah. And also, I think sometimes we think like they have to go to the big university. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes it's a community college and right. our 19 year old now she did the private Christian University mm -hmm. and it was a big burden financially for her and for us because she's sure. having to work to help pay for it and we're mm -hmm. having to pay for it and this year she's back at home doing the community college doing online doing online classes for the community Wonderful. college it's just a better situation right now so don't feel like you know if you're having to adjust things right. it's okay yes like Look at past this. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Sometimes it doesn't come back around until you're 25. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's great. So if you want to hear more of Trisha's wisdom of 30 plus years being a mama and 25 plus years being a homeschool mom and cooking and cleaning and organizing and all of that, <laughs> she has written a brand new free book for you that is going to be linked in the description below. It also has grumble free recipes yes. in it. We are going to do a video tomorrow. We're going to make up a bunch of those grumble free recipes, but you can get the recipes, get the organizational tips and she has helps in there about picking your priorities and just raising kids all the way around. That one will be linked down below. She also has this book, The Grumble Free Year, which is out this week. So get her free book and then you'll have what you need to get her other book too. Yeah. Yes, yay. So I will be ta chatting with you in the comments. Trisha will be chatting with you in the comments and we're just gonna talk about laundry and chores and food and launching kids. And, and grandma. And, and grandma <laughs> and anything else you wanna talk about. As we'll chat in the comments and we'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.